What's going on, party people? It's Toby, coach of the Sunny Shore Star Raptors, and uh, we are back for GLDL Week 8. Uh, and this week we are facing SF Paul. Uh, he is coach. He is coach of the North Coast Necrozmas. Um, and well, I'm nervous. Uh, I I think matchup looks okay. I think we've got a good shot. I think my prep is pretty decent. Uh, I've molded over a few times now. I think it looks good. But SF Paul is currently undefeated in our division, and he's a, clearly a very good player. So, you know, I think as long as we play it decent enough, we've got a shot. However, uh, you know, in terms of player skill, I think there's there's definitely a bit of a difference. But I do think it's a winnable matchup, so we're going to try our best for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, we're playing this a little bit early because of the bots going down. We're trying to cram these weeks in as best we can. Okay, so he's got the Torkoal, Luminion, Garchomp, Frigoraph, Iron Hands, Sneasel. That's all pretty standard as far as I'm aware. Uh, pretty expected. So, I don't think we bring Pelipper out front, of course. Uh, I think what needs to happen is I need to bring Gothitelle in. Um, and then... I forget what's on my, uh, Persian is. Do I have... I have Icy Wind, Fake Hats, no, okay. Yeah, we should probably do that. We should do Persian, Gothitelle. It's a kind of passive lead, but I'm okay with that. Um, well, what else is... What's on my right shoe? Because that could also be... Ooh. <sighs> Let's, for game one, I think we need Pelipper for sure. Um, and I think we need Gudra in the back. I think Gudra looks really good in the back. Okay. Take a breath. Calm down. Let's do this. All right, Paul. Good luck. Have fun. Let's make it a good one. Let's go game one. Okay, so what's he got for me? Garchomp Sneasel makes sense to me. So we're gonna go, okay. Okay, so from this, I think it's probably a good idea to hit Reflect. Um, and then I think it's probably a good idea to hit Icy Wind? Fake out feels a little dangerous because he could have Farigaraf in the back. Yeah, I think that's fine though. Let's go Icy Wind. I think Icy Wind is fine here. Fake out makes sense. Swords Dance is probably okay. Reflect goes up, so that Swords Dance won't mean a whole hell of a lot for us for right now. Um, what we can do now is I can hit Dark Pulse into the Garchomp, and I can also hit Icy Wind. Slow it down and get the Flinch Chance. I think that's probably for the best. And he Terra's right away. Okay, that's fine. What does he Terra into, though? Steel, probably? Dragon. Okay, that's fine. I'm kind of cool with that. Okay. Is he going to Persian? Damn. Okay. That's probably okay, actually. I can I can live with this. And that doesn't do terrible damage. Um Yeah, we definitely have to bring Gudra in. Okay. 
So at this point, it's probably best to hit Trick Room. And then we should definitely Terra. We should Terra and we should hit Dragon Pulse into the Garchomp. And that's what I think we should do. And he didn't swap, so okay, cool. Alright, I'm fine with this. As long as... Oh, I don't think anything through Reflect should kill Gudra now. Because he's not getting double stabbed from a ground move or anything like that. Okay, Protect is fine. But we are we will be under Trick Room, so that's okay. I'm fine with that. Okay, so Trick Room goes up. Um, Trick Room is up now. What we should probably do... What's our Reflect looking like? Four or five turns of Reflect still? Okay, so I'm cool with that. I feel like if we attack into the Garchomp slot... I mean, he's gonna have to switch out. I feel... Yeah, I think we just, I think we hit Dark Pulse into the, actually, I think we hit Dark Pulse into the Garchomp slot, and then we hit Flamethrower into the Sneasel slot. Okay, good to know. Oh, gosh, that does so much. Okay. Even through Protect, man. Okay, Sneasel does go down. I don't think I can... Because Fake Out just goes into Gudra, and then Gudra dies, but... What I can do is continue to hit Dark Pulse into the Garchomp and swap to Pelipper just to prevent a fake out knockout of Gudra. Maybe a flinch? Maybe a flinch? Damn, that's okay. Okay, that's fine because now Gudra comes in and we're still under Trick Room and we're still protected, so we're okay. Um, I don't think this Iron Hands would be slower than Gudra at this point. Um, yeah, I should probably hit should probably hit Terra Blast into the Iron Hands I could hit I'm gonna hit Wide Guard because I don't think he has any other way of hitting the Gudra so that's what I'm, I'm gonna hit Wide Guard because he either has to Dragon Claw into the Pelipper or Earthquake or Protect right there well we reveal Wide Guard which isn't great but cool, I'm fine with that. How much does this do into an Iron Hands? It's probably AV, I, I would imagine. Yeah, it is probably AV based off of that. I would imagine it's AV based off of that, but that's fine. For Rigoraf in the back. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so it would be slower than Gudra in, in Trick Room. Okay, that's good to know. Um, 
he kind of really won off of that swords dance, to be honest, so... Yeah, uh, what is... I gotta make sure I know what that speed tier is on Sneasel. 115, so it would probably... Probably speed tie with my Persian. Yeah. Okay, so... If he's max speed and all that, yeah, he'd probably meet... He'd would probably speed tie with Persian, which isn't necessarily ideal. I don't like having to rely on a speed tie. But he didn't bring Luminion. This is true. The problem is if I bring if I bring my rain mode into the Luminion, I'm somewhat boned. So Gudra looks still looks like it's doing work, but with Swords Dance Guard Chomp, that's yeah. It's not ideal by any means. <clears throat> I almost want to bring Gudra in the front. Right? I mean, I don't know. Um, Raichu could be good. So, we didn't bring... Floatzel last time, so he wouldn't really have a reason to believe that we would this time, you wouldn't think. So let's do that. Let's put Urinal out front with Cassandra, um, and then we'll put Soprano in the back. And we'll put... Gudra in the back. Okay. I think this will work. Probably. Okay. Good luck, have fun, game two, Paul. Let's go. Iron Hands for Rigoraf makes sense. I mean, he could fake out or he could Thunder Punch here. I think I think Thunder Punch is the more likely thing that he's going to try to do. And I think at that point, I can just swap here. And then I think I can hit Reflect. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. That's fine. Trick room. Okay. Um, that's not awful. So... I think we just hit Dragon Pulse into the Frigoraph. That would be what I would, I would say. And then I think we hit Reflect. Reflect feels right. Okay. Uh, is that gonna kill? No, it won't. Okay, awesome. So Reflect goes up. How much is a Dragon Pulse doing into the Farigarath? Decent amount, actually. I'm cool with that. Um, so... What we're gonna do is we're going to hit... I think we're going to want a Terra. I think. 
Um, it would be... It's gonna hurt the Iron Hands, right? I mean, like, it's gonna hurt the Iron Hands. So that would be the goal. Um, I don't think I have much of a choice other than to try to hit Light Screen. No, I hit... Yeah, whatever. Dark Pulse. It's, it, I don't think Gothitelle was doing anything there. So Dark Pulsing into something is fine. And I don't think I had a safe switch in. It was kind of my problem. Cool. Fine with that. That's actually really not good for his Iron Hands. Um... Okay. So this is not the end of the world, is what I'm saying. This is fine. How much is this doing with that spadef drop, though? I don't think... It might not kill still. Yeah, it's not killing, but boy did it do quite a bit more. Um... I'm going to swap in and go Pelipper. We're only a couple turns into Trick Room, so we're not... Yeah, we still got two turns left of Trick Room, so... Here's the question. Do I hit into the Iron Hands expecting that he's going to keep that thing in? I mean, Gudra really can't take huge damage from this uh, Ferrigarath, so we're fine there, probably. Um, and then trying a Hurricane into the Ferrigarath. Thunder Punch is fine. That shouldn't kill. Yeah, we should be fine there. Our Spadef, we do lose our Spadef, but that's okay. Hurricane goes into the Ferrigarath. Awesome. Terrorblast should kill the Iron Hands. So we're still in an okay position here. Um, I can swap Gudra out this turn. Uh, I don't, yeah, definitely want to swap Gudra out this turn. Or, well, actually, we do still have a turn of Trick Room up. So he can't really let, the, let his Garchomp stay in, right? Or he can't he can't not protect his Garchomp. Right? Because if he doesn't, then he's kind of boned, and there's no way Frigoref is killing Goober. So yeah, we j and he's Terra Dragon, so we know we can kill it. So we just do that. And that. And if he protects, that's fine. Yeah. Like he doesn't kill, we already know. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Okay, that would have for sure killed it. Um, rain is gone, but that's fine. gonna go for like a fake out or whatever into Gudra is what I would expect him to do at least so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap to Soprano and then we're not gonna hit Rain Dance we're gonna hit Tailwind yeah we definitely we definitely hit Tailwind And now we've revealed Wide Guard, so I don't think he really wants to Earthquake. Yeah, he's gonna tear a dragon as Garchomp, which makes sense.
if we can't get Tailwind up, we pretty much lose. So, it comes down to that. Okay. Dragon Claw into what? Into Pelipper, I'm assuming. That would have been the safe play. Okay, and we, and we live. Cool. So, Tailwind goes up. Alright, Tailwind goes up. This Sneasel's not really doing anything to, to us, so what we do is we just hit Ice Spinner, really. Uh, we hit Ice Spinner and we hit Rain Dance. Yep, that's what we do. We hit Ice Spinner and we hit Rain Dance. Protect is fine with me. I'm not super concerned about that. This Sneasel... I don't think can really do much of anything. Icy Wind is fine. I'm not really concerned about the Icy Wind because we're about to have uh, Rain Dance go up, so our speed is going to be unmatchable on Float Souls. So. And we reveal Citrus. Okay. So, I mean, the Garchomp is exposed. There's, you know, it, it's, it's exposed. He could try to go for the double protect. Um, I wouldn't bet on it, necessarily. But now we're in a position where we can kind of just hit into the Sneasel and the Garchomp. As I would say, it's not going to kill, but it's going to do a fuck ton. Okay. Fair enough. I would imagine he's gonna hit the... Yeah, that makes sense. Which is fine, that Garchomp is at a very low health, so... It's killable. Hurricane into Sneasel. Um, I would imagine we would be just fine with... Uh, with Tailwind up, so... Yes, we have one more turn of Tailwind, um, which is good. The Garchomp, like, would easily protect here. I mean, I think that's a readable protect, so I'm going to hit Terra Blast into the Sneasel. Sneasel hasn't given me a reason to think it would protect. And then I'm going to hit Hurricane into the Garchomp. That's fine. I like. I figured it would protect. And Goober Terra Blasts, which is good, and that goes into the Sneasel, kills that, and now Garchomp is by its lonesome. And it can't really... It can't really kill Pelipper. It can definitely kill Gudra. And Reflect is gone. I mean, if he Earthquakes, he can't hit me. And then he would... So he would have to pick either Dragon Claw into the Pelipper, or he would have to Earthquake. And really, either way, his Garchomp is taking a hit. So we just... I mean, we hit Dragon Pulse, we built a perfect accuracy there, and we hit the Hurricane. I mean, that's, that's all we can do. Goes for the, he goes for the kill on Gudra, which is fine. Um, I still think the Hurricane probably kills. Yep. Okay. So, the Garchomp does go down, and we take game two. So, all right. Cool. So, Rain really went off, uh, which leads me to believe... He's probably going to try to bring Torkoal or Luminion, one of them. Just so he has a counter for it. Um, I feel like he's... I feel like he's underestimating the way I think. I think he's probably not expecting me to make those adjustments. Um, I feel like if... I mean, because Rain was such a problem. I mean, Rain fucked him up. So... He's probably going to want to bring either Luminion or Torkoal. Um, 
which would make sense. So, really, I think this time... It's hard to say. Gudra in the back still feels really just just feels nice here. I mean, it just it really does. Um. So what I think needs to happen because, uh, I mean, he could probably just lead Torkoal and swap weather, but I don't know if I'm necessarily against that because I have Rain Dance, I have Manual Rain, um, so I could set it myself anyway. So I'm not necessarily against that. I will go... I will go Gothitelle up front. I don't know if I should go Persian, though. I think I go... I think I go Raichu and Gothitelle. I think that's what I do, and I have Protect on Raichu. I should. Yeah, so... We could read a fake out or whatever. Um... And then in the back is obviously going to be Goober. And then probably Pelipper, you'd think. Yeah, I mean, Floatzel did do a bit of work, but I don't think it was anything we couldn't recreate with other Mons. I think this is fine, because I think we need Raichu in the, for the inevitability that Luminion might show up. Um, and I think Raichu also is just better for hitting Torkoal anyway. Uh, because of Weather Wars. So, I'm okay with this. Iron Hands for a graph makes sense to me. He's going to try to fake out Trick Room again. Um, hmm. Darn, darn, darn. I probably should have Terra Ghosted. Should, I should have ran Terra Ghost, but... Um... I mean, I think he'd probably try to hit Trick Room, right? Although we don't super care, so we're gonna want to hit Reflect. And then we're gonna want to hit Protect. Yeah. Reflect and Protect. Passive, but it should be fine. I would imagine he's going for Trick Room again. Yeah. I mean, that's fine with me. Um, he would probably go for, like, a fighting move into Raichu or something like that. So we just hit Reflect again. Um, and then we hit... Uh, do I, do I Terra? I just don't think I Terra is the thing. I don't think I should. Raichu's in a really bad spot. I mean, he's not Thunder Punching into this slot. He can't risk the Lightning Rod. Fuck okay, it, we're swapping. We're swapping and putting Reflect up. Those drops are nice. Dazzling Gleam is fine. Okay, so... Now we need to decide... What is next for Goth as hell? I think Light Screen should just go up. I think that's fine. Um, that gives an extra boost to Gudra whenever it decides to come in. Um, I feel like having the Terra option for Gudra is just too valuable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap back into Halo. Yep, I'm swapping back in. Now that Reflect is up, I think we take those co a couple hits here. 
And I don't want to be targeted for a Thunder Punch. He's going to Terra. What's he terroring here? Is it going to be his Iron Hands, I'm assuming? Okay. And it is Terra Grass, which makes sense. I can get behind it. Terra Grass, Terra Blast into... Ooh, yikes. Not a fan. Okay. Um, I'm still okay. Like, this is still fine. Light screen goes up. And we do have Sap Sipper, so Gudra is just kind of in a good spot here, really. Um. Yeah. Gudra's in a great spot, but we're going to bring out Pelipper again anyway, because I don't want to bring out Gudra just yet. Uh, now I'm going to start hitting Dark Pulse into Farigaraph. Um, and then I think... What's Trick Room looking like? Two more turns? I mean... I don't think we take... A... Thunder Punch is the problem. Um, but... Ugh. I think I gotta swap. <laughs> I gotta swap. I think he's gonna go for, like, a Thunder Punch. I can, like, bait it and make, maybe resist it. Yep. Cool. Shadow Ball is not killing through Light Screen that much, I know. Uh, Dark Pulse is going to pop off into the Farigaraph. It's going to do an okay chunk of damage. Okay, so now what happens is I hit... Uh, how many turns are left? Only one, right? Yeah, so we should just Dark Pulse the Farigaraph. Um, and then, of course... I mean, he could fighting move me. He can't grass move me. With that drop, um, I think... Well, let's see how much Dragon Pulse does. I think that's fine, because we know what his Terra is now. So we can probably... I think... I feel comfortable Terraing. And if he's got, like... Garchomp Sneasel in the back. We're still pretty good here. Terra Blast into Gothitelle. Might kill? No, it won't. Okay, that's awesome. Shadow Ball might kill? No, it won't. Okay. This is fucking awesome. And that does a decent chunk with that Spatak drop, so we're doing just fine. Um, and now I would imagine Gothitelle's going to go before both of these things um, and can just hit... Well, how many turns of screens are left for each thing? Because I know we got four for Reflect and five for Light Screen, so I'm kind of cool with that. Um, no, I don't think there's any point in trying to preserve, so we should probably just hit Dark Pulse into the Furgaraph. That makes sense to me. Um, and then we should probably... Dragon Pulse the Iron Hands. Okay. Dark Pulse should kill Farigaraph. Okay, awesome. So Farigaraph goes down. No more Trick Room shenanigans there for him. Thunder Punch. It does more than I wish it did, but... Now Rain is gone. Sneasel for fake out. Eh, yikes. Okay, um. We probably have to switch to Pelipper, I feel. And then at this range, Dragon Pulse probably kills, right? You'd think. 
I mean, he's going to try to go for the easy kill on Gothitelle, like he would have to, I would think. Come on. Don't fake out Guga. Don't fake out Guga. Okay, Icy Wind is fine. Perfectly fine. Icy Wind is perfectly fine with me. Yep, and that should take out... Iron Hands, awesome. Okay, so we're still in this for sure, for sure. Okay. And this Terra's gone. We've still got ours. And we've still got reflecting shit up. So we're not in a bad spot really at all. Um, he's got Guard Trump in the back. Okay, so this is fine. Um, this is definitely fine. At this point, we probably hit Tailwind. And I think I'm going to Terra Blast into the Sneasel. Terra Blast into the Sneasel seems good to me. I don't know if it's Sash or not. Misses. Cool. It should not kill Gudra. It should not. Oh, that's perfectly fine with me. He kills his own Sneasel and Terra Blast goes into the Garchomp. No way. No way. Wait a second. Holy shit. And Tailwind goes up. We win. That's it. It's over. We won. Oh my god. We just beat the undefeated coach. Holy fucking shit, we just beat the undefeated coach. Oh my god. Yeah, we just and we just fairy terror blast and we win. I don't even think he can get the kill. Okay, he does get the kill on Goober, but that's fine because uh, Hurricane just does this and he kills himself to do life orb anyway. That's it, we won. We beat SF Paul. Holy fucking shit, dude! Oh my god! Okay, uh, GG's to Paul, you played that really well. Uh, game 1 really fucking scared me. I'm glad I could make those adjustments for Game 2. Um, yeah, holy shit, really well done. Um, and I think we, I think switches were a little precarious on my end, but I think that honestly worked to my advantage. The amount of pivoting I did really helped. As, as unoptimal as it seemed, I feel like it actually helped me. Um... So yeah, that was great. Um, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next one where hopefully we can get another W. Um, peace.